Yeah, but I don't mind the Twisted Fate, and he is going to lock that one in here. Certainly very good at picking off a single target here on Afrika's side. Spirit could be doing his golems this entire time while this is going on. Well, instead, he's going to head up towards the top side because there is a Death Realm that's been channeled. Keen going to be just taking some turret shots. What? Why not? And uh, Summit now with the World Ender is looking to try and trade back. Fly is going to spot on Flick as he turns up. Death what? Trap what? And there's the flash as Ben gets in there. Spirit flashes over the wall, but the Emperor's Divide is fantastic. There's the Cataclysm. Gigantic AoE damage and the two kills coming through for Sandbox will answer. What was there from Afrika in the beginning? In there, thank you very much for using traditional trundle. Spirit, man is a savant. A little bit, yeah. Well, there's a flash, flash depth charge is immediately root. Arcane shift, flash trying to get out of there, but Ben is going to lock him down with his dredge line. That's the Moonlight Vigil, and that's going to be the end of the Ezreal, but Empress Divide not quite going to find Ben, but there should be enough damage there. No says the stopwatch as Mystic is taken down. Dub grabs that kill, and now Summit's trying to get the work done. Fly in melee range is absolutely not what he wants, but Keen puts him in the Death Realm and then the Death Chamber immediately. Ben's still alive somehow, sitting at 100 health, but Onflake comes in, prioritizes Fly, will be able to lock down that kill as now Keen's trying to do the work. Gets his passive back, Gorilla will be going down, obliterated in fact as now Spirit looking to get on top of this teleport route. Coming back in, but Dove's able to lock down that kill regardless. And now two versus two. It's looking like Dove's a free in, And then kites down towards the south. Even though Keen doesn't have flash, so had he gone left, they would be able to reconverge. But anyways, coming back into live now, gold score completely. Any and power plates go down, by the way? I think there might have been a few. I just, I just want yeah. to point out how... Oh, hold on. Yeah, we've got another fight here. It's Mystic down very, very low. He's well and truly dead, like you were saying. But did a lot of AoE damage in the meantime. Fly does have a oh. fair bit of a health bar here as Fly it flashes after on Fleek. One fly. Instead of Merc Treads. Yeah, that's very, very strange, considering double magic damage solo lanes. And the, uh, the gold card on TF is like yeah. the CC that you're going to absorb. So, very peculiar. Potentially kiteable uh, now for on fleek, but we'll see what he does get done here. As uh, Sun Turret is erected, Dove makes it a very short lane in mid. Is Gorilla going to get dredge line? Mystic comes in. He's got the short range weaponry, like we like to talk about. And that is going to be a very dead karma. Just better positioning here for a freaker, and they didn't even need to use the Destiny Gate combo. This might be their opportunity to break down their first turret of the game. And, well, we're just seeing two, uh, two, two titans up here just duel it out. Yep, smacking each other with their prioritizing Merc Treads, right, as Destiny has been popped. We ain't gating anywhere just yet, though, as Summit is on the top side with Teleport at the ready. Now Afrika just going to spot them in this Dragon Pit. Teleport out, double teleports, in fact. Ah, uh, coming in, it's a great flanking ward that's in there. Spirit blocks down the dragon, but now Summit getting into position. But already on fleek Giga is... busted item. Uh -huh. It is one of the most disgusting pile of snaps. I, I didn't realize how... This is going to be soul point, and Sandbox do need to fight for this one. Teleport coming through from Root will oh. get him into the fight, but I think that our Mystic... What? Sorry, Spirit should be able to lock this one down, and he does. Keen. On Fleek immediately put into the Death Realm, and that is why there was no steal on that Dragon. As now Keen immediately comes out, but he goes Golden. Currently fired up, as you can see, and that is going to be Mystic locking down that kill. Fly fat, flashing forward, but On Fleek going to get that Mikhail. The nail in the coffin, so even though early on we talked about if Sandbox can get to three plus items, Ezreal and Azir will carry, there's a bit of never be diving the backline. If he's diving the back line for an Azir sec, him and Ezreal are failing fundamentally somewhere else. So, the itemization's very wonky. Atrox can't... Azir is itemizing basically no damage. He has an Oblivion Orb now, but it's still point soon. Well, we'll see whether this fight is going to change anything as Destiny will bring Fly in there as Spirit with his... Uh Ultimate running keeps himself alive, but that Empress Divide was absolutely fantastic. It's nothing in comparison to Mystic with his Quadra kill, though. Is it going to be back-to-back -back Pentas against Sandbox in the first game? It is! Mystic does it. Welcome back for 2020 Summer Afrika Freaks. You started off well last time. You're doing it again now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, Aphilios is always a pleasure to watch. It's when he ends up, uh, when he ends up doing it, 200 years yeah. of collective pentacles. Absolutely <laughs> incredible stuff. How many? Years? <laughs>
As the Freaker will win the game off the back of that one. Pentakill for Mystic. It's, uh, uh yeah. It's, <laughs> that was, that's that's one way of ending the game. It was born in uh, 1820, by the way. Yeah, well, obviously. Yeah, is, obviously. All of that short range. Yeah, I like it. Is very good. Because Fantastic both of these team compositions Callisto. are short range. I think that was, was that, uh, was that a jungle matchup? Oh my god, that is just insane. That's certainly a long time ago, but we uh, are fighting. As Gorilla is going to flash, there's the, I believe, Ren. Yeah, and there we go. Mystic locks down First Blood, 2v2. And Fly easily capable of moving on down here as well. With an Inspire available for Spirit. So he's got his Chariots of Harmony. He's going to be very uh, supportive this they game. They do have a uh, champion that has an ultimate ability called Mantra, which isn't actually really an ultimate ability. Now Summit going for another fight here. On Fleet turns up Spirit in fantastic position right now. Keen with his World Ender flashes oh, on over, but he gets completely baited. Spirit looking for the body slam, but On Fleet is here. Dub turns up in the nick of time, and Sandbox have outplayed it. I think the body slam is going to come in, it is. But we've got Predator Boots, and Spirit is going to the bottom side. It's now Gorilla, not going to be pierced. We do have the uh, ulti available here from Mystic. Death Charge is going to come in. Is now on fleek with a bunch of extra movement speed. Puts down a great pillar. But Cosmic Radiance is going to... Oh, oh no, not in time! And now Ben has to get out of there. He's, but... he's a little bit preoccupied right now, pushing the bottom lane. And that kill onto Callista is really big for a bunch of reasons even. It also, remember, they have the Mountain Dragon as well. So that is very valuable for some of their champions. Yeah, on fleek. Actually trapping himself a Whoa. little bit there, as that's another fantastic barrel. Ulti comes out, though, from Root. Trying to get at least oh. the health bars back, but Fly can't quite figure out where to throw his Q. Does eventually find three members, and now Spirit comes in. The Cosmic Radiance that we were talking about, very high value in this particular fight, and Root's going to have to flash to get himself out of the way. Mystic now trying to go one versus three, oh. and a double kill comes through for Fly. Spirit goes golden to keep himself alive. The tether not enough. On to Root there, Fly not Summit moving on down. We'll find Shirley being taken down here by Spirit. <laughs> not going to be opting in for Troll King, Troll that's, King. Yeah, that's As, uh, Spirit is going to put a barrel down on top of where Dub Ooh. and Summit are both coming in. That's a great cast to come down as well. But the flash out from Dub was brilliant. Cosmic Radiance might just ruin their day though. It's all five go completely invincible. And Summit has to flash to get himself out. Keen down about half health, but Ben flashing on forward. The dazzle was glorious. The shields are everywhere for a Freaker. And despite Gorilla going golden, I don't think it's going to keep him alive. The body slam lands at exactly the right time, and a double kill for Mystic as a Freaker bear down on the bottom out of turret. And Karma and Tarek are pretty good champions. Yeah, pretty good. When, <laughs> when you want to go super short range and take these very scrappy skirmishes, they are just going to always win the War of Attrition. So basically, Sandbox, they have one shot, one opportunity to really just bring Tarek down in the fight. If they can't do it, they will never win an extended team fight. Tarek over there with his Divine Shield and Lay on Hands is also very unfortunate <laughs> for Sandbox to try to fight through. I'm glad there's a Paladin in there as well. Let's see whether Afrika do decide to go for this one. Cosmic Radiance is available. Now they're looking yeah. for the fight. Doesn't really change what Tarek and Karma are going to try to do, so. Yeah, that one's relatively binary. Yeah. Mystic close to picking up his yeah. uh, uh, spirit. Okay. He's just going to die. He's dead. And that could be actually really big. They might just do a Desperation Baron. Spirit is... He's definitely a big part of oh. the Freaker comp, but that is a fantastic dredge line cyclone coming down as well as now Ben. Fates call Cosmic Radiance, and now two versus four. They're actually able uh, to fight what? back. Keen grabs one of the kills. Fly coming on in with all of that utility and does lock down on Fleek there. Gorilla is well and truly dead, and unfortunately for Sam, because it's not integral to the fight. Wukong. Well, okay, we're getting in. There's the cast, lands onto Dove. Cosmic Radiance is going to come through, but Sandbox doing exactly the right thing, just disengaging and going for the re-engage now. Gorilla lands the hook, but he might pay for it with his life. Fate's Call gets a brilliant double knock up as the Cyclone in the back line, not enough to take down Spirit, because welcome to Karma, everyone. <laughs> and uh, yes, there's a well, this is Definitely going to be interesting here. As Afrika, they're going to finally pick themselves up. One of the Cloud Dragons. They're up 6,000 gold. 
They have all the items that they could possibly want right now to take yet another skirmish if they want to. They also have Baron as a very sure about them. Oh, Don't they, they, ben? they have Ben very mystical. Oh no, that's mispronunciation. <laughs> Come on. I will not allow it, but I'll allow this team fight. Summon gets into the back line, but the Cosmic Radiance once again is going to be there. Fate's call looking for the re-engage. Good double knock-up as Gorilla's going to go down low, but the Petrifying Gaze working out this time. Flash forward from Keen, but the Snake Lady does get rid of the Tarek. I just don't know whether it's going to be enough as Double Kill comes in for Mystic, looking for his third as uh, Goodbye Wukong comes back from his Guardian Angel immediately. I hope they're not. They need to steam. keep Yamato's plane in the air, that okay? So don't, don't be talking about fuel. Need, uh, need Yamato to get here safe and sound. Took a long time gathering that. Uh, who built the item that uh, really I thought was it was done? Arden's sense of being ridiculous was done. 2017 was a year that happened, but not one that we really want to remember for anything other than the fact that the LCK won. And uh, Summit now looking for Keen, down to about half health as the decoy does come out. But our uh, sandbox, of course, not actually looking for any engage, especially with a freak. All the couple of ex you know his callings. Yeah, they do have the Executioners, which I do think is very good. We need to make Morello's and the Executioners, like, stack. That's what we need. Grievous Wounds needs to stack. Interestingly enough, though, the person that's going to be able to apply it the most would be Cassio. Yeah, precisely. So, with the Miasma and the Petrifying Gaze, that would be very big in the team fight if we could hit multiple members and just apply it. Oh, no. On Fleek just hand-delivered to the Afrika Freaks, and Gorilla also going to get knocked up. But there's the Cosmic Radiance. I've seen this movie before, Summit, and it doesn't work out so well for you as Keen dives in towards the back line, and Ben gets that knock-up that we talk about every single team fight, and there's the Rend to explode the members of Sandbox and their hopes of staying in this series of Freaker. It just seems like the first round robin of any season is a good one for yep. these guys, as Summit is going to go down. That should be the ace. And Afrika Freaks start off the season real strong. Yeah, they really, really did. And that was...